Hey, man, I want to say I really appreciate if you helped me out with me, my boy. Oh, man. Hey, I'm really glad y'all squashed that beef, though, for real. Yeah, I don't know why we started dissing each other anyway, because, you know, he's my best friend. You know, we used to go to school together and everything since middle school and through high school. Yeah, man, I, I pray, bro. Yeah. All right, hey, I'm about to go ahead and drop this album, you know, and everything. All right, you take yeah. care, man. Hey, bro, right, much, man. Hey, much like love, said, man, bro. Much love, Pretty man. Well. Thank you. All right, man. Appreciate it. Hey, bro, you was a real dog. <laughs> a real stupid-ass nigga. Bro, what? Oh, come on. You really think I'm not going to get away with that shit? Who do you think I started a whole beef anyway? Bro, what are you talking about? You see, the hip-hop industry was getting a little bit slow, a little bit old, a little bit dusty, a little bit of fucking boring. So you know what I did? I started up some drama between them two. They keep the shit going. Hey man, I really appreciate you stopping by, bro, because, you know, ever since my mom died, I just, I can't get back to making music no more because, you know, it just, it shit hurts, man, you know? Because, you know, once you lose someone, you, you lost. Yeah, tragic. Um, listen, I came by to tell you that, um, your little best friend, little Chris, yeah, he had something to say while you were prepping your speech for the funeral. What? He said something on his last song about your mom. Yeah, he's saying uh, something about your mama used to sew socks that smells. My mama do what? He said your mama used to sell socks that smells. My mama sew socks. He's... Well, I'm a mama. You're going to talk to my mama. All right, all right. I got some for his ass there. All right, bet. Hey, give it to the booty. Nah, give it to the booty right now, nigga. Give me the booty. So, so you mean telling me you were starting all this Rap beef shit for no reason? You know how a kid just said fuck the big three? It's just a big me? Who you think sent that message? Bro, you was fucking evil. <laughs> we got a seven minute diss track from J. Cole. He apologized, so check. And then we got a Drake diss, a he versing every damn body in the hip hop industry. Check. We got Rick Ross rapping. Check. We even got Chris Brown spitting bars, nigga. We got Chris Brown spitting. Beside from Drake, what R&B nigga know that sound like King Von? Nobody. Check. Wow, nigga, you was evil as fuck. Don't you see? This is what the people has been starving for. They are looking for the drama. They is looking for that energy. Wow, okay. Now, nah, that's, that's fucked up. That's fucked up. Man, fuck that soft shit. Fuck all that. Fuck all that soft shit. Nigga, hip-hop is where we bleed and we die. We got Tupac, Biggie, Gucci and Jeezy, Ja Rule and 50 Cent, all these beats that been sucking around for the hip-hop industry for years. This is what we came for. This is what needs to be written down on the plan. This is what we start for. This is not Chris Brown, this Quavo. Now, the big question is, What's Lil Wayne doing? Come on, man. Don't bring Lil Wayne into this. This is what every people wanted. This is what the hip-hop needs. We don't need just music. We need energy. We need raw nigga energy. We need that ignorance. And we can bring that back. We can bring that back. We can make so much money. Now, we got some more people we can start beef with. We already got Kanye sitting this weak ass song. So all we can So is you all along? So you start all this shit. What where'd he go? I, I don't know.